Good morning everyone, we welcome you all to the Let's Be Kind to Your Mind, the Arts of Happiness Day. As most you already know, today we are using creativity and art as a way of being kind to our mind. We also want to inspire others to be kind to their mind as well by creating one of the largest school-based exhibitions on well-being and happiness. Throughout the day, we will be working alongside some fabulous artists and creative practitioners. Year 10 have Sissy Rooney, Year 9 have Emma Blackburn, Year 8 have Banu Adam, and Year 7 have Mr Drew. Have an amazing day and remember, be kind to yourself and be kind to others. I've been involved with Year 8 on Don't Bottle It Up, so basically we've done some artwork on some bottles and capturing um, 10 positive ways of improving your mental health and well-being. Events like these are really, really important in schools especially because young people, A, don't get the opportunity to do as much creative work as they probably would like to. Uh, and the second thing is, is to start them young and get those conversations going because it's really important. The more conversations that we have, the more likely that we are to reduce the stigmas around mental health. I'm going to be drawing healthy foods, such as bananas, red apples and blueberries. I'm going to put eat well um, to show that um, if you eat healthily, then um, your mental health will go up and then you'll feel much happier physically and mentally. I want to write out that and then this will be like a shape of an apple. And then I'll say like mind, be kind to your mind and eat well. We've been making some bottles about mental health and how to, and being happy and ways to do that. It's like mental health awareness, like you don't have to bottle it all up. Uh, bottle to it up, it just means like, well, like you don't tell everyone about how like you're feeling and all that. Like it just bottles up and bottles up and bottles up until like it explodes. I'm from Arts to Heal and we do lots of projects uh, wherever we get the opportunity with young people, people in, in care homes and in workplaces in festivals and the idea is the more we do the artwork and use mental health as a theme the more we'll get people talking and getting involved. It's like we need to normalise the conversations around mental health for people to get to get talking about them but then look after their mental health as well and seek help where they need it. So all the people got given a shoe and they had to customise it with um, positive quotes or words to do with mental health and wellness. So they use a variety of mediums like spray paint and paint, stencils, bits and bobs to stick on the shoes. From the assembly this morning, which I thought the whole school assembly was amazing, um, they showed some really good videos and to watch a whole school really taking it in and coming away from that. I think every pupil has come away from today with a greater understanding and um, tools to be able to support themselves and to support each other. Today we are painting shoes to raise awareness for mental health issues. We're designing and painting shoes to like recreate like walking in someone else's shoes so like they might have been through stuff and meant for us to like have an understanding of how challenging it is and that. I'm putting like string marks all over it to like represent like all the paths like, and all like the different choices. You can't always see that someone's suffering from mental health, so you need to make it aware so people know what's going on with them. When I went into some of the classrooms today, the young people were chatting, they had the music on, they were having so much fun and the, the guards were down, and so it's just to see them having fun and smiling and being with their friends and creating art as well at the same time, it's just a beautiful experience. Obviously we've collapsed the timetable today, uh, which is something we don't often do. We've had the entire school working on a massive art project based around uh, Be Kind For Your Mind and the whole idea of positivity and putting a message out about mental health. I was working with Year 7s uh, doing the signpost activity, uh, which to today, you know, to say we've produced so much work in, in part of a day and then presented it as an installation and I'm absolutely knocked out. It's a, a winner of a result, really, really thrilled. We're um, putting our own inspirational messages on boards which we're going to put as like a signpost and then we're going to put them outside of the school. If you've got things on your mind 
just get it out if you want to talk about it. Tell the people. You need to get like your feelings out and like tell somebody. Yeah, if you bottle them, it's gonna get worse. Uh, my inspirational message is to be who you want to be and believe in yourself. I'd hope to think that you know other schools could start these sorts of projects really and, and just have that conversation. I know at our school we have this conversation regularly whether it's in assemblies or in lessons or in activities and it's becoming a big part of our culture is mental health but it is so important and I think it's probably the biggest issue in this country at the moment that, that needs addressing. I've been working with the Year 9s on making a picnic blanket of positive messages or words to a friend or things that they do to be kind to themselves. So we talked about what food they would eat, what you know, the favourite music, what places they might visit if they're not feeling great. We came and started drawing those messages, writing them and then brought sort of pieces of fabric together to create a bigger picnic blanket. Today we have been painting on fabric um, and we're trying to lift our spirits. We're doing this to show that ways we cope with our mental health and, and to prove that it is alright to talk about it. There's a barrier up, especially because of social media, people just don't want to talk about it because they're afraid of what other people think yeah. and really we should shut the barrier. We should, I think people should be encouraged more to speak about it because it's not a big topic people tend to talk about. They, they tend to like shun it away, lock it, put it somewhere else and believe it when you should be talking about it because you never know the person that you might not even if you just say hi how are you doing that might impact them in some way it's like if you don't tell anyone it can lead on to like suicide and stuff it can like inspire other people other people's stories can inspire people to come forward about their mental health it's just important to share i think as a child you can start to bottle things up and especially in the north, like we're northern, <laughs> we do that a lot, and even in families, so it's quite hard to untie what you've sort of learned. I think my concern is the services to help people. I think we are talking about it more, which is good, but there's still not those provisions out there for people to get help when they need it, and that's my biggest worry. And it's quite sad that it's got to that, because there needs to be more to help people that need it. We really encourage our youngsters to be open and honest with us and a day like today gives them the opportunity being off timetable in a more relaxed environment to be open, honest and talk about how they feel. It's about promoting the awareness of it as much as anything. It's just really important that you continue to make it at the top of the list for the young people in school. Uh, that they know that there's somebody there for them, that they know that they will get support if they come and ask and to encourage them to, to open up and talk. It's been a great day today. We've had a full day focused on mental health and being kind to your mind through artwork. I've particularly been focusing on um, an in-the-box exercise and what we can say to ourselves and that self-talk that we can have mind over matter about how you get yourself out of the box when you feel like that closure when something bad's happening and you put yourself in the box. We've come from BT to support the school um, in, in this volunteering work that we do. It's absolutely been overwhelming to see what's been going on here today. There's still a lot of stigma, unfortunately, around mental health and it's very important to kind of introduce young adults and children to the importance of being able to talk and share their feelings and being open about their feelings so as they grow older they are already comfortable to talk about that and seek the help that they need. We need to teach these students that you can talk about it, there's no shame in it and there's nothing wrong with people knowing and understanding how you feel. Some of the messages on the picnic blanket and on the signposts that they've made just all so positive. Hollins are just way above and beyond when it comes to thinking about mental health for young people and I saw so many happy smiling faces as I was walking around today it was a joy I think that, you know more events like this you know the more chance that we've got just to have open and honest conversations and do things that are really relaxed and easy going the more opportunity we've got to get that message across it's okay to not be okay there's nothing wrong with asking help you're not weak if you ask for help you're actually really, really strong.